Hi, I'm Rick with BuyToyRadios.com. In a previous video, we introduced the Ocean KG805 series radios. The KG805G is the 5-watt GMRS radio, and the KG805M is the 2-watt MERS model. Although they operate on different bands, frequencies, and services, both radios share the same core features and functions. Both are also user-programmable. Here's an overview of the Ocean KG805G and KG805M programming and menu options. Working the KG805G and KG805M is exactly the same, because both are essentially the same radio. They just operate on different radio services. Let's get an overview of the controls. On the top of the radio, we have the alarm button, also known as the PF2 button, and it activates the alarm. It can only be programmed to be enabled or disabled. Also, we have the channel knob, which changes the channels and menu items when you're in the menu, and the on-off and volume knob. On the side, we have the push to talk button, the PF1 button, which can be programmed for one of three functions, and the monitor button, which opens squelch to monitor weak signals. Located on the front of the radio is the AB channel scan. Hold it down for two seconds to activate the scan. The menu button enters the program menu. It is also used to choose and set menu options. The up and down arrow buttons change the channels and select menu options. And the exit button exits the program menu or cancels an action. Customizing the KG805 is much like configuring most consumer-grade FRS and GMRS walkie-talkies and is pretty straightforward. Press the menu key on the radio, go through the various menu options, and choose the items you want to enable, change, disable, or set. The KG805 menu consists of 23 menu options. The first item on the menu is the squelch level setting. The squelch levels are adjustable from 0 to 9. Setting it to 0 turns off squelch, while 9 is full squelch. The default squelch level setting is 5. The power save function cuts off power to the receiver momentarily, then reactivates it to detect signals. You can turn it on or off. Roger beep setting allows you to set a transmission prompt. You can choose to send it at the beginning of transmission, end of transmission, both or not at all. Timeout timer ends the transmission when the transmission has exceeded a predetermined time limit, after which the transmission is interrupted. The timer can be set in 40 levels between 15 and 600 seconds, in 15 second increments. VOX, or Voice Operated Transmit, automatically activates transmission when the radio detects a voice or other noise, allowing for hands-free operation. The KG805 has 10 levels of sensitivity to detect sound from 1, most sensitive, to 10, least sensitive. The transmit overtime alarm lets you set the KG805 to display a prompt to warn you when the transmit time limit set in the timeout timer is about to be reached. The alarm has 10 levels, from 1 to 10. The voice prompt settings allow you to choose the language of the voice prompts. The KG805 supports voice prompts in English and Chinese. The default is English. Beep prompt settings let you turn the radio beeps on and off. Power on message displays a message on the screen for several seconds when powered on. You can choose from three message options. Off flashes the full screen display, Bat V displays the battery voltage, and MSG displays the message welcome. The default is off. Busy channel lockout sounds an alarm if another radio is already transmitting on the same channel when the push to talk button is pressed. The default is off. This item is displayed in the menu, but can only be modified through optional programming software. Keypad Auto Lock allows the KG805 to automatically lock the buttons to prevent them from being accidentally pressed. When the automatic key lock is enabled, the buttons on the radio will automatically lock within 15 seconds if there is no operation while on standby. The default is off. The receiving CTCSS setting allows you to set a receiving CTCSS tone. The KG805 has 50 CTCSS tones. The transmitting CTCSS setting lets you transmit a CTCSS tone. The receiving DCS setting lets you set a receiving DCS code. The KG805 has 105 DCS codes. 
The transmitting DCS setting allows you to set a transmit DCS code on the radio. Scan mode will pause channel scan when a signal is detected on a specified channel. There are three scan modes. TO. After detecting the signal on a channel, the radio will resume scanning if no operation is performed within five seconds. CO. When a signal is detected, the radio stops scanning and will resume scanning three seconds after the signal disappears. And SE. When a signal is detected, scanning stops. The default is TO. PF1 sets the programmable function key on the side of the radio. Setting it to radio allows access to the built-in FM radio, scan accesses the channel scan function, and a lamp controls the backlight for the LCD display and keys. The default is radio. PF2 is the alarm button setting and is configured to sound an alarm when the alarm button is pressed. This key can be disabled in the radio. The display setting mode allows you to choose how to display the label for each channel. You can select to display the channel name, channel number, or the actual frequency for the active channel. The default is name. The standby backlight color setting allows you to select one of three customizable backlight colors. When the backlight is activated while the radio is in standby, the display backlight will activate in the color you choose. The choices are blue, purple, or orange. You can also turn the backlight off. The Receive Backlight Color sets the backlight color that lights when the radio receives a call. The choices are blue, orange, purple, or off. The Transmit Backlight Color sets the backlight color that lights when the radio is transmitting. The choices are orange, purple, blue, or off. Editing Channel Name allows you to customize the name of each channel. The channel name can consist of 26 letters from A to Z and 10 numerals from 0 to 9 with a maximum length of 6 characters. And there you have it, an overview of the Ocean KG805G and KG805M programming and menu options. If you want to know more about the KG805G and KG805M two-way radios, visit our website at buytwowayradios.com. I'm Rick, and thanks for watching.